when the draft begins. The draft is one of my favorite events, Peter. Uh, and I have lots of draft questions for you. But before we get there, I'm going to ask you, football fan, a football fan, I, I know you root for the Packers, and I hear they made some kind of trade the other day. Now, come on. Don't give me the don't give me like the uh, oh I want the real answer from a Packers fan. What's up with this trade? What'd you think when it when it officially went down? Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, the Jets? it seemed like it would never happen. Almost it was just like months of just waiting and seeing if it would happen, even though everyone thought it was going to happen. Um, yeah, I think as a Packers fan, you're a very appreciative of Aaron Rodgers and how great he was and and how he made the team so much better and just like he's an all time great quarterback. So. Definitely appreciative of him and sad to see him go, but also kind of excited to see what what love can do and, and how they can build around a young team like that. Um, so definitely going to miss Rodgers, but it, it's kind of an exciting time. I think they got a, a good deal out of the trade too. So, uh, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I feel strongly about it either way, but just I felt like it was going to happen anyways. So um, appreciate Aaron Rodgers for sure, but still excited as, as a Packers fan, but. We'll see what happens in two days if I'm still a Packers fan. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, I was going to ask you that. Like, this is so difficult. I always wonder about that. You know, I live in Boston here and, and watch Tom Brady throughout his career. And Tom Brady grew up as a 49ers fan, hardcore. And then all of a sudden, you're in New England and you play the 49ers. Patriots fans want you to, like, knock their heads off. Like, what is that? Have you started that process yet of that that little psyching yourself out saying, okay, all the things I've experienced in my 21 years, they are now have to be, you know, have to be pushed aside because I have to be a, a fan of another team, perhaps. Yeah, I've definitely been working on becoming a little more neutral. Um, obviously, I was a diehard Packers fan growing up. Um, but, you know, I think I'm just ready to play for a team that I go to. And I don't think it'll be too hard to, to get behind the team once I'm there. Um, but definitely have to pull myself away from just like being a, a Packers fan, obviously, because, uh, you know, never know where I'll end up. You know, I, I think you, you have such a, um, an interesting perspective on the Packers. You know, I, I, I love NFL films, uh, Peter. So I know, you know, all the stuff from, uh, the, the famous Lombardi clip when he goes a seal here and a seal here and he, he's got you know Jim Taylor and Paul Hornin you know you know got it running the sweep but you know your grandfather played for that team for 11 years was there for all five championships NFL championships under Lombardi what was that like for you first of all as uh, just as a grandson talking to your grandfather hearing these stories and as a football fan knowing that a piece of football history was right there in your family. Yeah, I think it's funny to me because like, obviously growing up, I just knew him as like my grandpa. Um, but I think as I grew older and got more into football, I definitely began to realize like what he did and how great he was. Um, and I think I think I always just became in awe of that. You know, I've seen all the, the NFL film stuff and I've read all the books about him and about Lombardi and those Packer teams. So it's always just been so amazing to me and so cool to me. And I always felt lucky that I had a grandfather who did, who did that. And now I can try to follow in his footsteps too. And you say following his footsteps, he was, he was a tackle for sure. I know you've heard a lot of the speculation. Oh, Peter can play tackle. He's a smart guy. He can play guard. He can play anywhere on the line. But if you said, if, if a team came to you and said, Hey, Peter, what's your position? What would you tell him? You know, I'm uh, the first thing I'd say is I think I can play tackle. Um, obviously, some people think that I'm ruled out of playing tackle because of a certain arm measurement. Um, but my, you know, more than anything, I'll play anywhere. Uh, you know, I, I'll play center, guard, tackle, whatever. I think I'll just do whatever I can to help the team. But one thing I don't like is just being limited to a certain position just because of a measurement. Um, I think that sort of neglects what makes playing tackle important. What What's important about playing tackle? Um, excuse me, but. Yeah, I'll play anywhere, but I, I can play tackle. You know, Peter, I'm such a um, draft nerd. So is Michael Smith, who's not here today. But we have we have put some of our relationships uh, in peril by being draft heads and paying way too much attention to the draft at the expense of other important things. You know, so uh, I've always loved the draft. How about you? Do you have a draft story or is this draft process kind of new for you is this your introduction to all the details and nuances of the NFL draft 
No, I actually have always been kind of a draft nerd too, to be honest. Um, always like follow the draft and obviously with, with the Packers, like always seeing like who they might draft. And one thing I used to do in, in, in high school and college is just like watch film of like the top offensive linemen and just see what they did and trying to, uh, you know, trying to emulate their game. So I've been obviously following offensive linemen in that sense with the draft. So I've always been really into it. I think even this year, I'm like still kind of nerding out about it and like trying to get information from my agent about who wants who and what guys going where. <laughs> and it's just kind of funny because my name is also like in there too. Um, so it's just like, it's cool like because I've always been a fan of it, but then also like I'm a part of it too. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of surreal almost in that sense. Who are some of the uh, some of the guys that you followed in high school and you said, okay, that that's a pretty good. I, I like the way this guy plays. Who are some of those offensive tackles that you watched and and admired from afar? I think well, this guy's a guard, but I I've always been a huge Quentin Nelson fan. You know, since since he came out in the draft and was at Notre Dame, um, I think he's probably the most dominant college offensive lineman ever. So I've always just sort of loved watching him and his game. Um, Obviously, you know, Rashawn Slater, my former teammate, uh, him, him coming out and seeing what he did and how good he was. Those two guys, I think, stick, stick out to me in terms of who I was following pretty closely. You know, I, I'm just I'm so intrigued by this. You know, uh, we see that you're, you're partnering with uh, USAA and you had the opportunity. Draft is going to be in Kansas City. It's a big deal. We were there last year in Las Vegas. Las Vegas was into it. Nashville has been into it. Cleveland. Kansas City, the same thing, but you had an opportunity to fly over Kansas City uh, in a helicopter. One, tell us about that experience, and two, tell us why that experience happened. Yeah, so that the you know, partner with USAA, and they're the you know the official salute to service partner in the NFL. Um, so we just got to partner with them. So my grandfather actually, in addition to being an NFL player, was uh, in the Air Force for I think two or three years. Um, so I thought it was really cool to just be able to partner with them. And then we went out to White Whiteman Air Force Base right outside Kansas City, um, met a ton of service members there, just got to talk to them, sign autographs, stuff like that. But it did take us up in the helicopter um, and just sort of flew around uh, Kansas City. We got to see the draft site, um, you know, obviously very, very large and, and grand. Um, I won't be there, but cool to see that from a helicopter too. Um, we also got to see like the B2 bombers, the A10, um, just really cool to be around those people and just show my appreciation for them. Obviously having a grandfather who served too. I, I, I know what the sacrifice is like generally from them and their families. Um, but just a really cool experience overall, just to be around them. Yeah, that's, that's amazing uh, too, about your grandfather. I know how close you were to him. And I was reading this story, great story by uh, Dan Pompey, excellent NFL writer. And he had, and you could teach us something. Teach me and teach our listeners something today because I was trying to pronounce it. Uh, grandfather in Polish. And yeah, I was well, this really, is. A, I couldn't get it. I don't know if I this is really it. Polish. So we call him Jaji, um, which is, I don't know if that's really how you say it in Polish, but like that's just what we were able to pronounce. So we just always called him Jaji. Um, and so I don't think that's the actual translation, but I'm sure there's some, <laughs> some Polish person out there shaking their head, but that's what we call them. That's what we thought grandfather in Polish was. Hey, listen, listen, Peter, if it works for your family, that's all that matters. You know, exactly. all right. you, yeah. you, hey, you make up, you make up your own rules. Okay. We call him Jaji. We'll come up with, this is how we spelled it. It was fine. You, you, I, I can tell you at another time when you come back on brother from another, after you're drafted, I can tell you about the Holly family and how we used to make up Monopoly rules. And I would play with Monopoly with other people and they would Everyone say, does that. they'd be like, you can't do that. that, that that's not the rules. But that, that's how we did it. <laughs> that's right. how we did it. Right. Yeah. Listen, that's awesome. I, I mean, it's, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure uh, talking with you. I can't wait to see what happens on Thursday. It's going to be so interesting. Get ready. If you do wind up with the Chicago Bears, uh, I know that's going to lead to some really, really interesting family discussions for you. A nah, Packers we'll be, fan we'll who winds fine. up with the Bears. Yeah. I know, but uh, I know it's going to work out no matter where you go. Thank you, Peter. Uh, best of luck to you going forward. I'm excited for you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you having me on. Anytime. Thank you.
Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.